What? What? X Harper WWE 2K19. Wow, what a morning it has been for me in terms of creations. If you've been checking me out on Twitter, you'll see that I've been posting some exciting tweets about D'Lo Brown. Finally, finally, I've finally, finally finished a D'Lo Brown that I think we can all be happy with. So, I'm going to show you my community creation and what I've ended up with. Obviously, for you guys, you're going to have to go to download, search X Harper, search D Low, search Brown, any F for those attitude fans. Okay. This is my old D Low Brown, the one that sucked. I have not liked it since I've uploaded it. I apologize for the 21 of you who've downloaded it. I've really wanted to do a better job because I've got my own. Nation of Domination on the game. I've obviously got Farouk that I've created. Um, Mark Henry, there's already a brilliant core out there. So I, I've got like three quarters. And obviously I created Karma Mustafa as well. But I needed that final piece. I needed d Low Brown. And the one that I had just looked too old. He looks a bit weird. His skin color and the light and everything sucks on his face. But after I created Paul Orndorff... And if you haven't got him, you should go and get him too. I realize that I'm getting better at making core models. And I'm especially getting better at making the, the face scan models look more realistic. And what happened was, I ended up with d -Lo Brown. And I'm so excited to share this with you. He's there, ready to be downloaded. Everything sorted except for his moveset. I haven't done a d -Lo Brown moveset before, so... Maybe I'll do that and upload it for you in creation, in community creations. But what I wanted to go through today was just a bit of an explanation of how I managed to miraculously transform a D'Lo Brown that looked kind of weird. The color and the lighting on his face didn't look right much closer. So what I've done, I've left the three D'Lo Browns that I've worked on in this process. I've left them on the game so that you can see exactly the transformation. I started with the D'Lo Brown that you can see selected. Obviously, I've already talked about him and what I didn't like. But basically, what I was unhappy with with this D'Lo was the fact that you can see around his eyes, there's a little bit of shading. Um, the creases beneath his eyes, they're all like a little bit red and dark. And that was something that in the face scan on Photoshop, I just thought that that was how it was gonna be and there was no way around it. So I went back to the drawing board this morning, feeling revigorated, reinvigorated, challenged and refreshed from my Paul Orndorff success. It kind of gave me more confidence that maybe I can do better cause. So I went back in and what I did, I went into Photoshop and um, big up to Defract and his tutorials because a lot of that has helped me. Now I'm quite good at Photoshop but I still need that explanation and I still need to see what's going on in order to be able to move forward. Now I wish and I mean this, I wish I could show you um, a walkthrough of what I did in this tutorial because I know that a lot of the guys who do these tutorials, they just don't show you the actual practical process. Not the how did you, you know, how did you get the texture and all that stuff. That's pointless. What people want to see is the practical, how do you actually do it in game? How do you overlay the face mask? How do you then adjust things? How do you, you know, how do you make your core look as authentic as possible? And I'm going to try my best to show you a little bit of that process because obviously I'm disabled slightly in, in my abilities to show you what I'm looking at on my laptop at the moment. But on my laptop, I have about three images, real life images of D'Lo Brown from different angles. One is as close to the face shot as I can get. One is at the side and then one is at the other side or even uh, the the profile of, of the, the picture himself. So profile, by the way, in art terms is not the profile picture you'll see where they're looking straight on. It's actually a side view of, of, of whoever it is you're looking at. That's a true proof profile picture. So, with all that said, I started with this D-Lo. And I'm just going to jump in so that you can see a little bit of a, a bigger version. Because I don't think that those pictures do 
justice to the cause that I've created. I actually didn't think this D'Lo Brown was too bad, if I'm honest. I, I thought it was a decent attempt at D'Lo. And I think once you download him, he looks a lot better than the picture shows. But that was what I came out with. Funnily enough, I haven't given D'Lo his hat. I have given him the hat on this one, just in case you want the hat. Oh, I hate the fact that it's got to re-download all these every time I do this, but I, I do apologize. So after that, I had an attempt, and what happened was I went on Photoshop, did everything that the tutorials say, but then once I basically finished the model, so this D'Lo Brown that you see is essentially the finished model that I spent three hours on this morning um, trying to get up to scratch. Once I did this, there was some there was some difference here. If you look at the face mask, in fact, let's just go straight in. What I noticed was was that the face scan and the body color are not the same. And the face scan itself actually looked quite yellow, it's sort of like a more of an orangish color rather than a brown, because obviously D'Lo is not orange. And I had to wrestle a lot with his skin color to try and get it. To, the, to match that face scan as much as possible. And this, essentially what you're seeing in front of you, was what I was left with. And um, it's not a bad edit. I'm, I'm happy, especially with the face structure. I think the skull structure for this D-Lo is, is absolutely perfect. It's just the skin coloration that I have an issue with. So what I ended up doing, I went back onto Photoshop, went back into the texture that I had, with the face scan on and I just edited the color so I took the saturation down um, I changed a couple of other things with the color just to try and get it to be more of a a, a pale brown rather than a, a an orange and what I ended up with was my final D'Lo Brown that you're gonna see right now now the problem with the game is that when you do when you re-upload a face scan it doesn't actually allow you to keep all of the editing work that you've done on the on the face. So what you've essentially got to do is go back and start again. Now, I had the foresight to know that I was going to do this. So what I did, I took loads of screenshots on my phone of all of the information and details for the the face structure, the head size, the cust all of the face deformation um, recipe that I needed. It was already on my phone. So I just went on there and copied and pasted essentially by looking at my phone. And I've ended up with something looking like this, which actually I'm more happy with than the original. Now, I've made a couple of slight adjustments as well. I've added an earring, because D'Lo wore an earring back then. I actually, looking at this guy close up, I'm a lot happier with this D'Lo Brown than I am with the old one. But you can see the big difference is in the face scan texture. It actually looks real rather than before it looked like his face was more scalded and burnt. The only difference I can tell you that I did to, to each face scan was lowered the saturation and white, essentially it black black and white modes that, that face scan. I don't know what it is, monochromes it. So by doing that, you just, I really got this beautiful brown that was a lot closer to D'Lo's actual skin color. And by doing that, I'm happy to say that I've ended up with something I'm really proud of, uh, happy enough now to put into community creation. So D'Lo is done. I hope that you like him. Um, the last thing I'm going to do for you is I'm not going to have a match because I've tried doing that before and it ends up going on for like 10 minutes longer than I want it to. What I'm going to do is go into the entrance sequence. And I'm going to show you D'Lo Brown's entrance. I'll just do a full preview so that you can see what he looks like. Just so you know. You're in the know here as much as I am. I actually haven't looked at this on my newest D'Lo Brown. So it could look crap. It could look good. Let's find out. Now, bear with me. I use Papa Shango's entrance music for the Nation of Domination. Blame WWE 2K19 for not including the nation's music, even though they've got two rocks and they've got essentially the same music 
it's ridiculous that they don't do what they did a couple of years back and just make the nation of domination music his 2001 music or you know 2000 music whatever i know it wasn't in 2001 when he was in the nation but it would be nice to actually have the nation's music on here as a stable 2k 20 they better have more stable music that's all i'm saying anyway full preview here we go So there's Dean, oh my lord, me daddy, better, I am pleased, okay, I hope you're pleased with it, I think D-Lo is looking fresh, a lot younger than he did before, I think this is a pretty good core, I'm happy with this one, this is arguably the best one I've ever made, from scratch myself, all of the outfit and attire I've made, the hat I had to custom make, Man, I am so, so pleased. I hope you like this. I am going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the download of D-Lo Brown, WWE 2K19. You have been awesome. I am X Harper. And until next time, whoop, whoop!